What's up you guys? So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you my 2019 makeup collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and let's get right into it. So on top of here, I like to keep just a mirror that I got from Ikea and then that little white container, there's three of them and that's where I put like dirty brushes, dirty sponges. And then this little mailbox is just a mailbox that I got from Sugarfina Makeup at. There's only stuff in the first seven ones and they're labeled. So we're going to go in the first drawer. And this is just primer, skincare, and moisturizers. And this one I keep the primer and I have like milk, makeup, blur sticks, some Smashbox. Um, this one is a Maybelline that also color corrects. Then just like some samples, some NYX. This one's NYX hydrating. This one's NYX pore filler. And this one's actually my favorite. It's the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin one. It's really good. And then moisturizers. This is my current moisturizer. It's the Thirst No More from Formula 10.6. And then I also have Face Base, uh, more First Aid Beauty, Glam Glow Moisturizer, which is really good. It's like a glowy one. It's a new glow. And then it's Mario Badescu. Then I just have like a lip scrub, a bare minerals, eye cream, and a little, a little sunscreen because it is important to put it on face sunscreen. Moving over here, I have all my skincare. This is brush cleaner. This is just like my sort of water brush to put on like my face mask. And there's two little masks from Formula 10.6 again right here. They're the same ones. It's the Seaside Glow Pill Mask. I have a bunch of samples of more skincare. Um, I love skincare so much if you can't tell. And it's like little CeraVe, then the booster drops, BRA strips, and then back there I just have like a Lush body, like bath bomb, shower bomb, more skincare samples, um, my toner from Botanics, the Glam Glow Foam Cleanser, and then just another cleanser, but I'm not sure who that one's from, but it's a brand new foaming cleanser. So these are my foundations, and in the back you can see I have like samples or the packaging to one, uh, the cake mix, because I need to make a video on that. These cards are disrespectful. Let's have the, have the Givenchy Luminous Silk. I have the Fenty Beauty, which is favorite. I have the cake mix. NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop is the best drugstore foundation. It's full coverage. It's amazing. And then mix that with the ColourPop. Oof. I have the NYX Total Dropper. Some Makeup Forever samples. Some more samples. And then just... Maybelline um, Fit Me. And then for powders, I have the Morphe powder. This with the NYX, can't stop, won't stop, gives you a flawless face. The Bobbi Brown powder, and then just some stellar, like loose powders to set my face or if I wanna bake. And then as far as setting sprays go, I have the NYX Dewy Finish, the Mario Badescu, and the Sephora Amplifier one. Dewy Finish is great because I love a dewy finish for makeup. And I try to keep everything in these drawers pretty organized, like, you know, label facing in the little drawers and everything like that. And this one I have cheeks and concealers. So these are all my concealers. Uh, this one's actually like a, this one's actually more of like a contour and concealer. This has the concealer, it's a highlight. So just keep it with that. We have some sample concealers and like some ColourPop, LA Girl, NYX Color Correcting. Um, the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop, which works well with the foundation and that powder. Wet and Wild, a lot of, just a lot of LA Girl NYX. And then I have this little MAC concealer. On this side, I keep all of my, like, blushes, cheek palettes, everything like that. So there's a Pacifica blush that I have that also comes with a little mirror. You can see me right there. Um... This milk makeup highlight, which is really good. It's a cream stick highlight. So if you want to have like a natural makeup look, this is great. Gives you that glow. Then the this is the Balm Auto Balm Cheek Palette, Black Radiance Contour Palette, which is super good. And then the Moonlight Palette from Anastasia. Amazing. Then I have this Laura Geller highlight. Which funny story, I broke within five seconds of having it but it's really good 
um, the Benetint Cheek Tint, which you can use for cheeks or lips, but I prefer cheeks. And then just like a Makeup Forever sample, a NARS sample of their blush and orgasm. NARS sample of their blush and orgasm because I really, I really want the blush, but you know, it hasn't wanted me. So I haven't gotten it yet. And then just the LA Girl palette. And then Hula in the shade, Hula in the shade Caramel. And this is like, it's like really big because before there was only Hula in the regular and then light. But now there's one in Caramel and Toasted. So this girls with a little bit of melanin can, you know, wear Hula and, you know, look good. And then, this is my eyes, brows, effects drawer. I do want to do like a drugstore versus high end. Try to, you know, see what's like basically just the best drugstore products, the best high end products. So this is my effects drawer. Um, I have a lot of, I have a few of the NYX face powders. I have a few of the NYX FX cream paints, some, um, some nose and scar wax, some more paint, some fake blood that tastes like mint, some spirit spirit gum spirit gum spirit gum remover look at latex and then here i keep like my glitter i have eye primer i use these uh the crayons with eye primer and I have glitter primer these are more samples and then just the eye shadow quad along with this one it's just like a tiny eyeshadow thing I have the wet and wild glitters and then just single eyeshadows this is also a single shadow I thought this was cool. It's a rose gold shadow. It just comes with like a little wand. And then back there, I just keep all my brow stuff. So I have like the tame and frame brow, this elf pencil, uh, this thing to measure for benefit, the Anastasia brow wigs, which my friend gave me because she didn't want it. And I, you know, nearly cried. And then I have brow, um, I have brow razors, but I don't use these to shave my brows. I actually use them to like dry my plane, and which I might show in a skincare routine one day. Then this is my everyday brow product. It's Wonder Brow. It's great. And then just some brow stencils. This next drawer is amazing. It is my lash liner and mascara drawer. So. These are where I keep all my used lashes, and it's just like kiss lashes and lash pop, which I got on Fashion Nova, and they're really good. I love them. I just have some lash glue, and these are all my mascaras. Marc Jacobs is a favorite. The NYX Stacked, the Chanel mascara is my favorite high-end mascara, hands down. It's so volumizing. Um, and then for the rest, I just have like Tarte, some Lancome ones. Like a little mini mascara, like what's it called? Mascara primer, and then more um, long common Estee Lauder. I think it's Estee Lauder. Oh, Clinique. And then this side is where I keep all of my eyeliners, which is mostly NYX. And I do a lot of colorful looks, even though I haven't done many on this channel. I put a lot on my Instagram, so go follow me. It's at Jenny Wi-Fi. And I just have basically most of the colors. I have the red, the pink, the blue, the green, the yellow, and then the lilac. Then I have Kat Von D. Um, this, this one right here, the TARDIS. <sighs> it was my favorite, my favorite eyeliner. And then I couldn't find the top. But turns out the top was like sitting next to my hand so it sat on my desk open for three days and now it's dried out but i can't throw her away because the other side is still nice and i'm sad black liner um yeah like most of these oh i have a white wet and wild liner this is the coolest thing i've seen so this is called this is called starlet studio they have them at target and one side is a liner and one side is a stamp and so i got the moon one and they have like all these glitter things and just everything you want at target this is four dollars i highly recommend it and just tweezers um i don't use tweezers to put on my lashes it's impossible but one day i'll know how but for right now you know i just use my fingers because who can use tweezers not me 
This is my eyeshadow palette drawer. I'm very proud of it. I have the Bretman Rock palette, which ooh, he really, really did something with that. The NYX Metals, um, which is just glitter. I have the Maybelline Nudes palette, but I don't use it, but it was my first palette. And I kind of want to do like a, my makeup in high school with this palette because I used it every day. I have the NYX Ultimates. These are really pigmented and are great. They're $7. Definitely recommend. And then the Yes Please palette, which is actually a yellow and red palette. Take Me to Brazil. And then this is an empty palette for eyeshadow that I'm working on. I have the Revealed palette from the Revealed palette from Coastal Scents, Modern Renaissance, and then the James Charles palette and the Morphe. It's amazing. It has a bunch of purples in it. Um, so if you like purples and glitter, that is going to be a palette for you. This next drawer is my lip drawer, but it also has body stuff in it. So we'll pretend that the body stuff isn't there. So in this container, I keep all of my reds and dark lipsticks. So I keep like the samples. This doesn't go here. So these are mainly reds and browns. Um, you know, just any dark lipstick that I have. And then in this little container, I keep all of my nudes or glosses or lip balms. So you know, there's some NYX, more NYX. Most of it is NYX. This one is a Estee Lauder. There's some ColourPop. Smashbox, Make It Forever, Lorac. And yeah, that makes up my lip drawer right there. Well, that is it for my video. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.